Hi there, um, thanks for watching my video. Today I'm going to talk about uh, how the mining industry uh, can adopt blockchain and what benefits it can it can get. So let's look at an example. Uh, say, say consider we are uh, a gold miner or a silver miner. What benefits uh, can a gold mining company achieve by adopting a blockchain? First and foremost thing uh, is the value that they can these, these companies can achieve is providing data provenance that is uh, clarity, uh, transparency and traceability to its end consumers. These days consumers are very uh, are very selective. They want to know where these products came from, what was the entire journey that the product has taken and that's how they build trust for a particular brand or a particular solution for that matter. In case of gold, gold supply chain, um, the companies can benefit by providing this information on a public blockchain where consumers or potential consumers could log in and check the, the entire history of this of the piece uh, of a particular uh, consignment of gold or silver and it is even becoming very popular to uh, with lithium as well because lithium is getting uh, more and more is getting more and more used uh, in batteries and with the adoption of electric vehicles uh, it is becoming very critical to track that as well so in terms of tracking these precious metals uh, the tracking process would begin at the very uh, first stage which would be in the mines so once the uh, mine has been identified uh, the data tracking and the data collection process begins at that stage data could be collected using uh, at various stages uh, within the mine so that could be uh, when uh, the mine is being assessed uh, the areas within the mines are identified where the blast would happen when at what time um, and at what location uh, the explosives uh, are um, are put and what time the uh, the time when the blast actually happens who uh, triggered the blast all such information uh, could be uh, can be captured uh, either uh, automatically or uh, using some semi-automated or manual uh, manual ways depending upon the nature of the the, the mine uh, and the technologies they use this could be achieved so once uh, this data is captured uh, it could be uh, transferred to a blockchain uh, the design of the blockchain would again be very much dependent upon um, the blockchain designer who uh, and how he wants how he or she wants to design it but basically the idea is that uh, all this information about um, the this first point within the the metal supply chain uh, is to capture um, capture this uh, capture this uh, this information Normally, um, in any mine, you will you will get multiple grades of uh, ore. So the ore is categorized as say uh, uh, high grade, medium grade, low grade, uh, and so on. So the tracking could add that that additional value uh, to the blockchain. So once uh, this this um, this thing is captured on the blockchain the next thing within the mining process is to actually when all these uh, this ore goes into uh, goes into a crusher where it is crushed and we get the refined uh, the powdered form of the ores so this is where uh, things can get a little bit tricky because you get you can track the the metals or the minerals till uh, the crusher um, but once it goes into the crusher, it will all, all get mixed. Uh, although you can still keep a track of uh, high grade, uh, medium grade and low grade because you could probably put it uh, in three different batches. So once it is out of the, out of the crusher, uh, the tracking could begin. Uh, tracking could begin and this would involve tracking from that point onwards. So from the, 
uh, from the um, from the crusher uh, then it then probably where it good it would go on to the um, it would be shipped uh, to uh, it could be shipped uh, once this is uh, it is in the powder form it could be transported for further refining and extraction of the precious metal uh, say gold or so on uh, and the blockchain uh, and that, that that data tracking would continue along along that way uh, depends upon uh, where the the supply chain ends and where the customer starts for example in case of gold it could be the process could be tracked all the way until uh, the gold bars uh, are made and uh, once uh, and when the gold bars are um, actually purchased by a customer so that's that's where i would say the tracking would end but it probably is also possible that the uh, the customer would then go and trade that gold bar in the future or sell it to somebody else and then that uh, proof of ownership uh, changes and that again could be added on to the blockchain so it depends upon exactly uh, where you want to start and how far do you want to go to track along the supply chain and what all information you want to track because all this would have an impact on how much uh, how much uh, data you need to in data or information you need to capture and how much you need to store another aspect is uh, especially in the gold uh, supply chain you would see some new startups that have come up which are actually allowing you to trade uh, trade gold using crypto so what they're doing is they are offering uh, some companies are offering one coin which is equivalent to one uh, gram of gold and that could be traded on exchange and that is adding the liquidity uh, in terms of uh, for gold trading uh, that's another uh, another another application of blockchain within say uh, the gold 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 uh, industry um, so in a, in a sense what i wanted to capture what i wanted to convey today was uh, in in the context of uh, precious metals uh, blockchain does play a very important role um, and um, it, it is a very very useful uh, a case study and implementing uh, uh, um, and implementing such a uh, blockchain based application would be very beneficial to uh, such mining companies i hope you like this video if you have any questions feel free to drop me a line thank you very much bye bye